Okay, so everybody's hopefully walked around and noticed a big difference on that left side compared to the right side. Now we're going to do the right side. We'll go through it a little quicker so that you so now that you know how to do it. So here's the ball, and I'm going to put the ball positioned between my foot and the wall, and just let my toes splay up. So I've got the big toe and the next couple of toes splayed up. Now I'm going to just move over a little bit and get the little toe side. Okay, so about six to ten seconds per spot. Now I'm going to go and position the outer edge of my foot against the wall, against the tennis ball, right against the wall, and I'm going to press down just behind the ball of the foot area, behind the little toe side. And ten seconds there. Okay, and now I'm going to move forward a little bit so that the ball is on the outer edge of the foot, halfway between the little toe and the heel. Ten seconds there. Okay, and then I'm going to move forward a little bit more, and now the ball is positioned just in front of the heel on the outer edge of the foot. Okay, and now I'm going to turn all the way around. And so I'm going to position my foot so that the inner edge is against the tennis ball, and just behind the ball of the foot, I'm going to push down on that tennis ball, and as you can see, you can see part of the tennis ball. And then I'm going to move my foot forward a little bit, and so now the ball is positioned on the outer, on the inner edge of the foot, halfway between the big toe and the heel, and I'm going to press down about 10 seconds. I'm going to move forward a little bit and put pressure down on the tennis ball. It's just in front of the heel on the inner edge of the foot. And I would say 6 to 10 seconds per spot. It's not exact. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so now we're going to position the ball just behind the ball of the foot, right in the middle, between the left and the right side of the foot, and I'm going to press down. And I put a pretty good amount of weight on that. You can tell my left foot isn't really touching the ground much, but I am balancing on this ledge of the wall. Now I'm going to move over, move my foot to the right a little bit so that the ball is under the left side of the front of the foot. And I'm going to press down. And now I'm going to move the ball so that my foot moves to the right. The tennis ball is slightly on the left side of that right foot, if that makes sense. But it's just between the big toe and the second toe in the foot, just behind the ball of the foot. Six to ten seconds there. Now I'm going to position the tennis ball just in front, just in, um, in the middle of the whole foot. And I'm going to press down. Now I'm going to move my foot a little to the side, and then press down again. And I'm going to move my foot a little to the other side, and press down again. So I did the three spots in the middle of the foot. Dead center, a little right, a little left. Okay, now I'm going to put the ball just in front of the heel, halfway between the left and the right side of the body or the foot, and I'm going to press down. And now I'm going to move over just a little bit and get the towards the outer edge of the foot. And I'm going to press down. And I'm going to move over to the other side, the inner edge of the foot, just in front of the heel, and I'm going to press down. Okay, so now that you've done the right side, go ahead and walk around again, and then later um, put your shoes on and walk around again, and just notice not only how your feet feel, but how your whole legs feel. In fact, how your whole body feels, and um, try it before you run. If there's a couple of things that I do before I run, it's a couple of key exercises from our Harder Running program, and this tennis ball exercise, and um, it's so valuable that I keep them in my car, and before runs I use it all the time. So um, I've used it with lots of runners throughout the years and lots of other people, and please email me, let me know whatever you find, whatever is useful, 
and pass it around. Thanks a lot.